everyone, welcome to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to guide you through how to fix kp.org app or the Kaiser Permanente app not working on your Android phone. Watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Press the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. If you're noticing that your Kaiser Permanente application is not working on your Android phone, then here are some fixes you could try out. The first thing to do is to make sure that you are connected to a stable internet connection. Turn on your Wi-Fi or your cellular data, or you can also disable your Wi-Fi, wait for a few minutes and turn it on back again. Once you reboot your Wi-Fi, you can now go and open up Play Store from your Android device. In the search box, type in Kaiser Permanente or you can also type in kp.org. And once you find this application, look for the update button. If you don't see an update button, it means that you already have the updated version of Kaiser Permanente app. If you see an update button, give it a tap and update your application right away. Once you have the latest version of Kaiser Permanente app, you might be able to fix your issue right away. Another thing you can do if the problem still persists is to restart your smartphone or your tablet. Simply press the power button and make sure to tap on the restart button from the menu. Reboot your system and go and tap open Kaiser Permanente application and see if that fixes your issue. If that doesn't work, open up settings from your Android phone and from the settings menu. Scroll down and tap on apps or apps and notifications. From the app list, look for Kaiser Permanente or the kp.org app and give it a tap. From the options, select four stop at the bottom right and tap on OK to four stop your application. Now, tap on storage from the same page and tap clear cache at the bottom right in order to empty the memory cache from your application. Then. Tap on clear data at the bottom left, but make sure that you have your credentials needed in order to get back to your account, since doing this will delete your application's files, settings, accounts databases. Once you tap on OK, go and tap open the kp.org application and log into your account again. That way, you'll be able to fix kp.org app not working on your Android phone. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.